Hello gang, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Transport Fever in the style of the Metropolis despite the fact there is absolutely nothing metropolitan about what we're looking at right now. Uh, here comes a goods train around the slow corner uh, that has come across international borders and it stopped. Okay, I hadn't really anticipated that. That was not the opening that I'd, I'd got in mind. Why are you, what are you waiting for? I mean... I get it. Oh, hold on. Is that something else coming? No, no, you're going over there. All right. Go. Get them. Go on. Off you go. Maybe I need to throw a stick. Uh, anyway, um, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll just sit here and chat for a moment. Um, and actually, we'll sit here and chat and look at this for a lovely bit of rusty, uh, well-used locomotive action going on there. Um, oh, I haven't even turned that off. I am woefully underprepared, except I'm not woefully underprepared in the slightest. Uh, for those of you who keep up on the, uh, on the old Transport Fever mods, uh, we start today with a public service announcement. Oh, I know. This is me being civic-minded, uh, but not as, as civic-minded as uh, as a couple of guys out there in the community uh, who have done what is generally referred to as a solid. Uh, one of the mod makers, uh, who's uh, who, one of their mods was included in this series, um, uh, has uh, has removed all of their mods uh, from the Steam Workshop, uh, having been uh, uh, found out to have, have kind of. Uh, what should we say? Liberated the uh, the meshes from uh, from places they shouldn't have without giving correct credit. Uh, as such, if you were using one of those mods, chances are your save game would be broken, rather like this one would have been. Were it not for the sterling efforts of Mr. Killer Kangs, uh, he who does make quite a lot of UK-based uh, locomotive and train mods uh, and and carriages and what have you, uh, with the assistance of I'm going to say it's J.K. Pretty sure it's J.K. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look it up. Hold on. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. I'm just looking it up. I know. I've paused the game. I, I hate it when that happens. Oh, I should have looked it up sooner. I was even on the right page and everything. Hold on. It is JK. Yes, I was right first time. I could re-record this, but I, I feel like, you know, you like to uh, to see warts and all kind of service going on. Um, yes, between Killer Cans and JK, they have created a mod called the VM Removal Mod. Uh, or mod removal, uh, the link to which you will find in the description for this. Uh, so if you load up your game and find that it no longer works because uh, you're missing a mod or two, uh, this may come to your rescue. Follow the instructions and you'll have no problems. Um, uh, I've also included a link to, uh, to Killer Kansas' Patreon. Uh, in the description, uh, because uh, frankly, he deserves your support. Um, this is, you know, got a, off his own back. He's uh, he's helped all of us out, and I, for one, am deeply appreciative. Uh, so there you go. This ends today's public service announcement. I was kind of hoping that the train would be moving by now, but now I'm just I'm just perplexed enough to sit here and, and wait and see exactly what's going on because this needs fixing. Can't have can't have a goods train just sitting here indefinitely. Um, I mean, I'm quite liking the view. The bird song's sort of nice and, and, and all of that kind of jazz. Um, I'm going to run the bombastic intro, I think. Yeah, yeah. Before I do that, I will say that all of you who pointed out that I'd left the dummy train attached to the consist last time, uh, you were absolutely right. I've, I've fixed that. Um, right, okay, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do the intro. Seriously, I haven't cut a single frame there, or I might have cut a frame or two. It started moving almost immediately. It's like waiting for a bus, or in fact train. Uh, just when you need it to, it starts doing the thing that it, you pay it for. Uh, but there we go, we're rolling. I, we might as well watch this lot go past. It's quite nice. I don't mind it. And, uh, you know, you get some nice ambient, uh, some ambient uh, truck noise as, as we do that. Trailer, truck. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I do like it when it does things like that. Right. Are we, don't, are we waiting for the very... We, I guess we are. Uh, we're going to wait for the very end of the train. There it is. Right. Let's go and find out why that was uh, preoccupied. My guess is that it was going into a, state, uh, a platform that something else uses as well, and it was waiting for it to clear. Uh, now, that in itself isn't a problem. The problem is that by waiting back there, it's uh, it's going to be holding stuff up. I would be, 
Uh, I would not be surprised if there were another train coming in right behind it. Here it comes now. Hubs Food doing the Hubs Food thing at a rip-roaring 28 kilometres an hour. So, go and have a look. Come on, it's a big boy. Now, you are reputed to be uh, the boss of the rails. So, uh, how about you shake a leg? Crank a piston. Uh, where's a turbine of some description? I've got stuff to do today, and uh, and you're not helping. Yeah, there we go. There, yeah, yeah, it's underway. Um, right. Anyway, let's uh, let's talk about uh, today's scheme, shall we? Because uh, we've uh, we've blown through a bunch of time already on on nothing but uh, but glorified train spotting. So uh, so we ought to get get this show on the road. Now then, in the last episode, I spoke about uh, trying to ramp up production uh, so that uh, so that we were filling more trains. And that in itself is a good thing, um, but I'm not entirely sure what the uh, what the best course of action is going to be. So this is the food train coming in now, and as you can see, we've got food waiting. What's the? Uh, that's just a train. That's that's not a station. Click on a station, and then you'll get the answers that you seek. We have 560 uh, raw food item stuffs uh, to be withdrawn. And I think we'll probably be okay with that 560. I think we've easily got that kind of capacity, haven't we? Uh, there, well, it's 480. That's 580 at least. So that's got over 600 capacity on there. And you're waiting at the same signal. I think this is going to lead to a scenario whereby I say, pause the game. Oh, you're not going to do this again, are you? Just leave it alone. Just just leave it alone. Tell you what, look, do this one in the next episode. In this one, do something else entirely. Step away from goods, all right? In case you hadn't gathered, I was about to rework all of this so that it had a better queuing system. Um, but, you know, we've, we've been there, friends, so many times. Um, and as much as I really enjoy doing it, I am, you know, uh, bitterly aware that... Uh, the, the level of entertainment value in doing that is, is, is getting thinner by the second. And why aren't you carrying anything? Oh, do pull yourselves together there, team. Um, it's, you know, I kind of want you all performing to maximum capability. We're making profit. Uh, let's bring up the... Uh, do I want the... No, let's do the lines first. So, I mean, you know, profit is being made. Uh, if you look at the right end of the chart, look at that, 22 million. That's just ridiculous. 24 million. Ridiculous. Um, but, uh, you know, we could be making a bit more. And we have to get a good shake down the chart. I mean, if I take that right to the top there, you'll see that we're a, we're a good shake down the chart before you get into stuff that isn't making any money. I've got no problem with that. That's, that's, that's a pretty solid state of affairs. Uh, fixing international construction materials would be nice. Um, and uh, and I'll get to that at another point. Anyway, what I was going to do is, uh, hold on, before that, I don't think we've looked at the town sizes for a little while, so let's do that first, and then I'll get to work. It's hot, all right? I'm, I'm not firing on all cylinders like I ever do. Uh, so Wellington is, is pitifully small. We need to do something about that. Uh, Vancouver is also pretty small. I've spoken about this recently. I dimly remember. Um, and then Rill could do with a bit of a bump up as well. Krakow's leading the way, uh, but that's because I am funneling a hell of a lot of trains through there. Uh, so doing the same for a couple of other stations will have a similar effect. Hold on. The uh, the cogs of an idea just started whirring in my noggin. Uh, we are going to Vancouver. Why not Wellington? Too tough for you? Um, well, we were in R Wellington recently. Good enough. Uh, right, we're in Vancouver, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and transform this uh, so that we get uh, so we get a bit more growth going. Now, it's currently showing that we're we're making absolutely lousy deliveries where shopping and jobs are concerned, um, and that's despite running two trains the length of the ruddy map to get up here with supplies. Oh, hello, what do we got here? Something lengthy by the looks of it, and. Uh, it's a couple of BR156s that aren't going to work. Oh, hang on, we've got, we've, got, we've got absolutely ruddy everything going on here. Uh, these 156 repaints, I suspect, might be uh, might be part of the affliction. We've got a Root Master. Uh, we've got a new Naffy's Universal State Car. That's pretty exciting. Some ships. Uh, we've got a rail bus. And just like that, it's gone. 
I did see the Orient Express wagons, uh, the uh, passenger cars in there as well. Ah, look. Ah, and while that was happening, we actually got a goods delivery. Hooray! Uh, well, that's something. Uh, but what's going to make the biggest difference is getting passengers in from further afield. Now, we're only running three passenger lines right now. Uh, so if we uh, if we pull all of these up, we can see exactly what we're talking about when we uh, when we say that we've got three passenger lines. Let, but let's not make them the centre of attention. Let's uh, let's drag them out over there, and then we can have a look. See, this is us having a look. And as you, can, we've got like platforms galore going on here. Uh, now then. You are undoubtedly on pale yellow. You're doing the Mountain Delight, which is actually quite a fun route, as I recall. Uh, the Mountain Delight, which runs through the mountains, hence the name. Uh, and uh, then it does this dramatic tunnel action and heads out to Wolves before coming back again. Pretty simple route, but, uh, but simple routes are often pretty effective. And then you've got Vancouver, Brussels. So uh, we come out of here and we, uh, we zing down through Grand Junction and we head out to Brussels. And once again, then we come back again. Wallop. Okay. Uh, then you've got the Sioux Falls main line. And this is the terminal at the end of the line. Uh, just, just so much stuff just kicking around. Uh, and that's not so bad. So we go to Sioux Falls, El Paso, Detroit, Vancouver. Um... Okay, so there's Dortmund. There is no track that currently goes from here direct to Dortmund. Is that something we want to do? I can hear you there. You're all going, yes, let's do it. Let's go to Dortmund. Uh, it's, uh, it's an unsung hero of the, of the German uh, city choices. And I, for one, really want to get out there. We've got this line here. Uh, and that's, is this a passenger line? I think it probably is. There we go. We can get into there. So we could go from the Couve to Dortmund. And then we could double whammy it and head straight to Wellington. But there's probably quite a lot of train track in the way that would, that would be upset by me doing that. Uh, what if we hit up Barcelona on the way? Again, you're not going to get much love out of that. So this that would involve flyovers and all sorts, uh, but then we could we could get a, a double hit. There. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. And uh, and in the style of Project Runway, we're going to make it work. Not that I watch Project Runway at all, even under duress. Um, now then, and I have no no reason why I know lines from that show in the slightest, none whatsoever. Uh, right. Okay. Now then. Uh, the challenge is going to be getting over this, getting up this hill, probably merging onto this track here. That uh, would seem to be more logical than uh, than creating a, a some some fresh hell to to, tra to travel through. Uh, then we can either well we could get onto the main line and then immediately peel off again, at which point we're going to have to do some kind of stunt to get past all of this goods fandango going on, and then we've got to get over the river in order to get onto the main line again. As, as far as routes go, it's not that logical, uh, but it is going to be something of a rip snorter. So, uh, so let's, uh, let's get our rip snorting gear in motion. And I'm going to put an exciting train on it when I'm done. And we're going to get it completed in the next, ooh, some minutes. Right, let's go for here. Positive first step. No electrification, thank you very much. Now, are we going to go under or over? We're going to go over. All right, well, in which case, the time to start that is, is when you head up this bank for the first time, uh, possibly. It's going to be horrendously expensive. If I end up creating some kind of viaduct that goes all this way, that could be quite horrendous. Anyway, we've, we've got the... What do you mean too much curvature? There genuinely isn't too much curvature. I mean, honestly, there's, there is not too much curvature on there. The, the amount of curvature there is pretty much perfect. There we go. See? You just wanted to go the other way. You're just being contrary. Right then. Uh, a small voice in the back of my head said, Hey, why don't you use the viaduct mod thing that you don't really understand that you've got? To which I say, Oh, no. 
okay, yep, all right, well, we'll give it a look. And if I can't figure it out relatively quickly, I mean, the first step of figuring it out, of course, being finding it, um, if you can't do that relatively quickly, we'll abandon ship and, and go back to plan A. Is it a passenger station? There's the flying junction, which might be what I need, which is probably what I need, which is definitely what I need. Okay, fine. We're, let's use concrete. Concrete's modern. I'm modern. Uh, let's let's do it. Okay, right. Okay, so we got this. That's really rather long. Uh, let's make it high speed. Um, and then something else. Uh, let's make that high speed as well. Right, um, that's lower track, upper track. We've got them the right speed. And then uh, we don't want electrification on there for now. We will, we will cry into our uh, simulated beer uh, later on. When, uh, when we decide that everything needs electrifying. Okay, tracks per grip two, crossing angles. What I want is, a, is pretty much a right angle. Yeah, like that, that'd do it. That'd do the, that'd do the job like a, like a champ. Um, except I don't need it to, uh, to land again. I, I could do with that being, you know, upright. Do I need to put any kind of angle on that? I don't, but we're gonna pause, let's, no, I'm not going to pause. Just leave it running, uh, and then because we we want to figure out how to leave it uh, airborne on the trailing edge, which sounds ridiculously complicated, uh, but it honestly isn't. Uh, transition A, upper, lower, none. What happens if I press none? Oh, you get exactly what you wanted there. Well, there we go. Uh, that that appears to have been jolly easy. And uh, uh, what about upper? Okay, yeah. What about lower? I'm with you. Right, okay, got it, got it. Right, good, 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 good. So if we come in about here, how does that look for our uh, our angle of attack? It looks pretty splendid, I have to say. Uh, something like that. Do a bit of this. Yeah, if I'm going to plunk it in about there, are you moving the track to make it? You could You could change the angle, you know. Oh, really? Yes, really. Come on, don't muck about. Do it properly. Okay, that one works if we then mirror it. In fact, 80 might work, so let's mirror it. And then, like that. Well, that's that's not really mirrored anything now, has it? That's gone, that's gone far too far the other way. Or maybe the same way. I'm pretty sure it's gone the other way. Look, this is... You know how you've seen me use the Flying Junction mod like four times? That's the total number of times I've used it. Uh, I don't have any additional, you know, practice. I don't I don't dry run any of this stuff. I, well, okay, once in a while maybe I, I dry run some stuff. Don't mirror. Is it doing the same thing? No, it's not. That's fine. Just put it in there. All right, pause it. There you go, before this chap arrives. And then uh, get your bulldozer, because that's, that's the one tool you really know how to use. Yeah, kill the signal. We don't need the signal, right? And then, uh, and then plonk this in. Uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, that looks all right. Does that look all right? That looks all right. There we go. We'll take it. Right now, then, uh, sling this back up here onto. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's just go with high speed track there, which is not very high speed. In fact, it's limited itself to 114 because you've made the corner too tight. We're going to need to delete a little bit more in the hopes that we can get a slightly more uh, more fluid corner. 138. Well, that's better. It's certainly within the realms of what I consider tolerable. Uh, and then we'll, we'll nuke a bunch of this as well in order to clean up the angle. Did you get all of that? You did get all of that, right, okay. And you can high speed yourself as well. 185, yeah, accelerating all the way. Everybody cheery about that. Spanking. Okay, good. Um, shall I do signals first and then move on? Yeah, let's do signals first and then move on. Uh, hold on, what the heck kind of a signal is that? That's not a, not a signal we intend to... No, ghostly floating overhead apparitions are not our, 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 our bedfellows here. Uh, additional sig reverse signal for potence. Use it for second lines in reverse of additional way signal. Additional way. There's some English in there somewhere. And uh, no, these are potent signals. What I want is one that just sits on the ground and does that. I mean, I could stick the potents in, 
But to be honest, I've I've never felt a hundred percent confident that I've got it right. I know it's spooky, isn't it? Um, you know what? Just do that, and let's uh, let's see if it works. I mean, obviously, it's going to do. Hold on, let's uh, let's make it part of the flipping Nora. That's that's not gone exactly to plan, has it? Um, right. Let's. Uh, this is going to suck. Yep, thought so. Uh, right. Let's do. Come on, get this lump out of my face. That's your nose, sir. Oh, hush. Uh, okay, well, that's terrible and, and frankly, unacceptable. I'll spend the half million and we'll get shot of it and then we'll do it again, but better. Uh, right, let's uh, smooth this lot out a little and then uh, let's try plumbing it in again and see if it tries to do the same shenanigans. There, cleaned it up. Ah, that's uh, that's more like it. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll get rid of that because I. All right, you didn't need to get rid of the track as well. That's overkill, if you ask me. Um, but uh, you know, hey ho. And then because uh, I'm feeling potent, we'll have uh, we'll have one over here. See what I did there. Uh, we'll have one over here like this. Come on, as soon as you can, as soon as you can. There you go. It's a little further away from the action than I'd like, but. Uh, I'm comfortable with it. There you go. And then we'll do one on the other side as well. And then people will go like, oh, look, there must be something terribly important going on there. They've used these hoity-toity new uh, uh, action signals there. I go, yes, action signals. Yeah. And uh, and the peoples, they were uh, feared. Um, right. Okay. Now then, back onto the main, let's get things rolling again. I don't think that's broken. Nope. Um do we go back to our 60 mile per hour track or are we going to go for high speed? Let's go high speed. I'm going to, I want to put something nippy on here. Don't know exactly what it's going to be yet, but, it, but the goal is nippy. Like a lobster. I don't think I've got a, a, an articulated lobster as a, as a vehicle option. Now you appear to have stuck a lump in the ground there. Now is that to take care of nature's bounteous wonder or is that, uh, just a little bit of extra adventure you've added for yourself. No, that's uh, that's counteracting some of nature's bounteous wonder, I think. Maybe. You've maybe over-egged it a little bit to get onto the track here, but I'm, uh, I'll, I'll accept it. And then we'll stay airborne. We'll stay airborne. Are you paying attention? I'd like you to, to remain airborne for this next jaunt. What I'm not after I no actually you know what i oh, know i'm i'm with it no build up a ruddy great bank yeah or not you're doing this just to mess with me aren't you i get what i was originally what i was secondarily thinking originally i was thinking bridge then i thought well if it's going to do a bank i'll do a bank all the way and now i could get it to do that i could just do that right um, and then we'll build a, a, a tunnel for the cars that goes underneath. Hey, cars. Yeah, I know it's me again. Um, so let's do that. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll, we'll motor on from there. Uh, right, you come out here. I'm going to need you up here. So I want you banked as far as there, which is going to be a little bit pricey. And then from there, I'll allow you to use a bridge if it is what your heart desires. To about, I don't know, to about there-ish. Just until you start getting uphill. And the only reason I'm using a bank here is because that's unusual. Normally I would build some kind of elegant metal trestle bridge kind of deal. Uh, box girders. And I will bang on about, yes, I know it's wrong, or something like that, and, and then use it anyway. Um, yeah, there's a dent in the track. Oh, for the Pete's sake. Look. Is it really so hard for you just to maintain your elevation? I know. I mean, I'm in a spendy kind of a mood in order to get things right, or, or certainly get things to the point where I'm where I'm satisfied with them. Let's up the uh, the area of effect here and and get some some dozing on the go. There, see, it, it looked like it was just adapting to nature's thingamajig, but it wasn't. So if we go from this end instead, oh, no, 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 we're going to need to smooth that out again. Smoothing gun, there we go. Ah, the joy of 
smoothing out a mess that you've made just moments ago. It's almost like you would never know it was there if it wasn't for this flipping great shadow. Uh, right. Stay flat. Good track laying. You stay flat as well. Very good. Oh, the flashing, incidentally, is the flipping sawmill that's still complaining. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not. The flipping sawmill isn't complaining, but real and grand junction of grand... Why are you complaining? That shouldn't be the case. Unless, oh, it's probably that bit of road that I just nuked. <clears throat> okay, it's perfectly fine for that to be the case, because I definitely did just nuke a bit of road. So, uh, that that's fine. We don't mind that. There we go. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? That looks a lot better. That was worth doing. That was an adventure worth having. Um, right, and then we're going to do something that will bend this piece of road to my will. Uh, come here. No. I tell you, I should take this more now. I should take it out. I don't, either that or I should use it. Right? I don't think anybody's going to disagree with me on that front. Right. Good. There you go. Terrain alignment collision. No, just turn it into a bridge. Tunnel. There you go. You shouldn't really need to go underground, if I'm honest. Uh, and you've gone underground a little bit quicker than I would have liked. So we'll, we'll make it a bit longer still. Then we'll do a bit of that. And then we'll just... No, oh, you, no, you press bulldozer there. You didn't mean to do that, did you? We'll do a bit of that, and then we'll just do once. Three times a lady. Uh, good. Right, there we are. Smashing. I think you could have... I mean, you've already undermined the, the, the proper footing for this bit of track there. Uh, you know, as much as this isn't going to work, I'm going to give it a go anyway. All right, we do a bit of that, right, to make it look like that has actually got a proper foundation under the track. The other side is is mostly fine. All right, we'll do we'll do all of this, all right, because that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna look so much nicer, or something, and then we'll smooth it, which will put it back pretty much exactly where it was before I spent the money. Hold on, there you go. How about that? Yeah, that's horrible. That's uh, that's quite a lot worse. In which case, we move to plan B, which, as you well know, is trees. Oh, look at that. It's uh, it's perfectly fine. If you can't see that there's no foundation in there, uh, then you won't need to call on Superman to come and reinforce the thing when there's an earthquake. Obviously, if you're too young, you won't get that. Uh, but if you're the right kind of age, you will. Lois Lane, you know, she's uh, trapped in a car still. And, uh, you know, I, Margot Kidder is the uh, is the definitive Lois Lane. Uh, right, come on, come on. But that's totally redundant because obviously Christopher Reeve is the definitive Superman. So, you know, there's that too. Uh, right, now then, these trees, as planted right now, do make it slightly obvious that they're just concealing the fact that there's a bit of poorly laid track going on here. And you're you're going to get clipped by just about everything. Uh, someone mentioned that there was a, a mod that would guarantee your your trees would never clip your track. Uh, to which I say, but where's the fun in that? I like getting my trees as close to the action as as possible. I don't even think this is the the normal tree type. Oh no no maybe it is. Oh you know what I could do? I could do I could use some bushes. Yes, so as I say, yeah, we need to uh, lay a few more trees to make this look like it's part of some kind of copse uh, or, or other natural phenomenon. And it wasn't just me, you know, concealing the fact that the, uh, the situation there is, is far from elegant. I might, put a, I might put a safety shed there as well, uh, just in case the worst comes to the worst. And uh, I'll equip it with like a chainsaw or something. So if we do need Superman to come and reinforce the track, I, I promise you this is the last time I'm going to make that reference. Um, then uh, then we can we can just do that. There you go. Small tree brush. Tree ground the hell out of this bit. And same this side. Right, turn all of this off. Look at it from a distance. Perfect. Uh, okay, yeah, no, no, no. that looks uh, uh, moderately semi-plausible, that does. Who am I trying to kill? It looks rubbish. Uh, do some more bushes. 
There you go. Maybe, you know, plunk some... You know all these people that show off screenshots of these amazing creations they've done in uh, in games like this? This is all they do. They just keep messing around with, like, building guns and tree guns and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then uh, they take a strategic screenshot that makes it look like they put hours in. But I know they're caper. Uh, it's uh, only because I am 100% honest and I show you absolutely everything that I'm doing, uh, even when I make a mess of it. Uh, right. Trotting on because I've spent enough time fannying around with that. Uh, let's get over here. Now then, next job, get you onto there. Now there's two good connection points for you. You've got this curve coming out, or this one that's about to hit the corner. And I think the corner is going to be the smart play. Uh, you, you've arguably got... I mean, not that I can't merge while it's in the middle of a bridge, but I think that uh, there is a more elegant-looking uh, solution to be had in uh, in doing it when uh, when it's not bridged so we'll uh, we'll merge that onto there see and then do a bit of this don't you terrain alignment collision me what are you collision with are we going to have to get past this middle chunk first i think we might in fact it might be the middle chunk causing the drama oh no no the middle chunk has decided to play ball wise there you go do a bit of that yep Okay, this is all good. This is uh, this is all working. Uh, sling that down there. I might have used up a bit more space than is uh, is entirely sensible here, but uh, we'll see. And then we'll get it to about there, down a smidge more. That's it. And then my thinking is that we either tunnel or gully to connect that up. I'm happy with either, to be honest. I quite like uh, routes. As you'll know from when I did the Alps, um, yeah, the, I, I, I really am quite a fan of routes that have a combination of, of bridges and tunnels, which I guess is something of an alpine hallmark. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I quite like it. Oh, especially when it breaks the surface in a couple of places. That's my kind of track right there, where you've got just these little vents... Uh, where small children that are frolicking on the hillside can could just sit there with a picnic blanket, blanket, yeah, picnic blanket, and the dog, uh, and just look as the train goes, Phoom, like that, yeah. I don't know. I'm weaving a narrative. It's up to you to uh, to come along with me. I mean, you can you can take it or leave it. Uh, right, and there you go, and we'll do the other side as well. And beautiful. All right, I like that. That's that's not bad. And don't get me wrong, we've we've barely barely scratched the surface of the full the full agenda that we've got to accomplish here. But uh, so far, so good. Right, let's kill these signals off, and then we'll merge this beautiful new high speed track in with this dirty, rusty, old school track, or not, as the case may be. Hold on. Do you want to do it in the in the corner? Not especially. I mean, we'll... Uh, yeah, I, I don't really want to slow down that much. All right, let's do it a bit further out. It gets a bit it gets a bit shirty if you try and do it in the corner. Full on. What are we talking about? 120 kilometers an hour. That's, uh, that's what? That's 660. No, it's not. It's about 70. Maybe 72. Hmm. Uh... Right, let's try it from here. Look, I just need enough room so that we can uh, we can peel up without burning too much. In fact, doing it there is absolutely fine because we are coming into the station at that point, so I don't mind if we lose a bit of speed in the process. Okie dokie, and then what? Well, then we just uh, then we just follow the yellow brick road. We uh, we just connect up along there, and you've got a you've got a four track mountain pass going on. Which is totally ridiculous, given the uh, the volume of traffic we have elsewhere on the uh, on the network, because this is barely used. Now that's something that I should really remedy. Um, do you want to potency it? No, that's you know it's a new toy, and we you know it's very tempting to get carried away with it, but we'll uh, we'll avoid doing that. Stick a signal block in here. All right, for everybody, you can all have a signal block. Well done, congratulations! Signal blocks for everyone, and then we'll uh, we'll mimic this one as well. But uh, because we're show offs, we'll go check out our big electric signals. Yeah, it uses a light bulb. Hmm. I know Thomas Edison. Yeah, 
I know he's uh, he's he's a very good plagiarist. Uh, right now, then here we go, and, and a bit more of this. There we go. Hey, see, look, we've made it to Dortmund. Hooray for us! Uh, now, of course, the real challenge is going to be making it to Wellington. Um, or among the the real challenges is going to be making it to Wellington. You won't let me put one on there, will you? All right, we'll put it here then, and then like so. Now then, what are you complaining about now? Oh, it's the Santana sawmills back again. Good, I don't care. Uh, and then we're going to need a signal right here by the turn back in, and we're going to need one for you as well. And then we're going to need one which we've got just before there. We get rid of this one because that's just going to block junction. Dab hand, old pro. That's what uh, that's what they call me. Um, good. Okay, so far so good. Now the next trick is going to be from Dortmund. We'll use this. What I suspect is possibly an underused bit of track. But let's have a let's have a quick look and uh, and see for ourselves. Trains. There you go. That would be helpful. Yeah. See, nobody's using this at the moment, which means that I'm going to. I suspect this exists in order to get things to and from a depot somewhere. In fact, I'm I'm pretty much certain that's what it's for. And then we've just got to figure out how to get from here over to there without doing track crossover. Now we could fly it, and I think flying it is probably going to be the way to go because. Uh, that is at a higher elevation than we're at now. So rather than going under, we're going to go over again. Uh, this is quite a busy bit of, of track here. So, so coming out before then might behoove us. There you go. We could probably go from like there. Now, if I can get that airborne, I'll be surprised. No, I can, but I can't quite get it airborne in time. Maybe if we drag back. Never mind the curvature, son. It's all good. Just, uh, you know, stay focused on the objective. All right, you can get to there. Can you get airborne to cross over the main line? That's a big fat no, isn't it? Yep, not in time. So... All right. Well, there'll be a there'll be an alternative way to do this, and that is to do it like so. No, 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 no. I don't want you bending. Come, come off at an angle that is uh, largely of a straight type variety. There you go. That's got it. Right now, then, where's my objective? It's over there, isn't it? About there, actually. So we're going to want to head over right to the, the side of that bridge, probably flying over the station in the process. This is not going to be inexpensive. Um, we're going to avoid it looking like a roller coaster, so we'll, we'll not use the box girder, which is our, our standard go-to steel box pillar. I'll, I'll almost... Yeah, all right. You know what? I'll, I'll let you use that. What's the speed limit? The speed limit's grand. Can we go one lower? That's a big note. Oh, you've forgotten me choice. I mean, it also, it, it, it should just default to that. It knows I'm going to do it. And that does look like there's not a lot of clearance under there, doesn't there? But the game says yes, and therefore, so do I. All right, good. Of course, this only works if I can then pull the parallel one up as well, which I can, and therefore it works, and therefore everybody's happy. Excellent. And then from here, we will go on the flat right we don't need you shooting for the moon we're not building the uh, the the track equivalent of the tower of babel here we're uh, we're just going for a, a straightforward bit of straightforward track straightforwardly it is rather a vibrant green i have to admit but uh, but that's that's certainly acceptable i quite like that it's somewhat low to the ground that's nice too can we get a pillar just before the the interchange here? I'd quite like to uh, quite like to do that. And I know that there's mods where you can uh, you can pretty much tailor make the entire uh, viaduct that you've got going on. But if I've got it, I'm I'm somewhat lost as to where it lives, which comes as a shock to me. I tell you, uh, look, I want a pillar just just this side of the track. All right, let's try that and see if we can adjust the pillar movement from there. 
Don't bend too far. You've still got to get over this bridge. All right, keep it up, keep it up. That's it. How's that? It's arguably a little too close to the track, but uh, we're sticking with it. This is going to prove to be rather a large amount of investment we'll have made by the end of the uh, the end of this uh, this construction. But uh, I think it's going to look quite nice. And if it doesn't, the tree gun is on standby. Yeah, keep going. That's it. And then uh, we're going to go bridge over troubled water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, can you feel it? You probably can. That's not so bad. I mean, it, it is starting to veer a little bit towards uh, Mr. Sid Meier and his railroads there, uh, which if you've not played the game, the AI would have a tendency to build the wackiest bridges you've ever seen. Um, but you know what? I like that. I think that looks all right. Um, let's... Uh, Let's grab this and do that. And I'll tell you something else. Riding along here is going to provide some absolutely rambunctious views. Uh, you will not believe the, the, the rambunctiousness of the views that are going to be generated from this. Might have to get rid of that signal. Probably going to have to get rid of that signal. All right, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's absolutely fine. What we'll do is we'll pull this off here. There you go. Get the angle about right which it is, hit the tick button, and everybody's golden. And then we do that again here. And that's the uh, that's the difficult join done. And then we're just going to go like this, and it's not going to say too much slope, because why would it? Uh, then we select the same bit of bridge again. I don't know why I'm telling you, and then you do this, and then you do that. It's not a tutorial. Uh, this, is, uh, this is hijinks uh, on the high seas, possibly. Uh, 10 million quid, bargain. Oh, I've spent more than that on shoelaces, possibly. And there's another five as well. 15 million quid for that bit of bridge. It's not a very big bit of bridge, neither. Uh, but it's uh, it's certainly done the function there. And it goes into this downhill section. That's, uh, I mean, actually, it's a terrible idea to put a signal here. Um, because, you know, if, it, if the weather ever turns nasty, not that I think it will on this map. Um, but if it does, oh boy, uh, then you, you could have some grip problems as you, uh, as you try and proceed along your way there. But uh, we're not going to worry about that. All right, there we go. Let's stick some more down. All right, actually, you, you've got some signals. Oh, no, we're deleting them. Oh, bye-bye, semaphores. No, electricity for us. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, one more on here. And then we need to... No, 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 no. There you go. Back in business. Right. Good. Um, and then we'll just, we'll sling some, we'll expertly place some signals on the transition along the way. Don't think about how tall this bridge is. Might need to turn that around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know all your games, game. You can't fool me. I know how you only like to snap to one side when you're looking at it from a certain direction. And then you do the same thing when you look at it the other direction as well. I know that too. Now, I think, given that I'm probably going to end up taking this into Shanghai, because why not? We've made it this far. We might as well. Um, come on, auto save in your own time. Um, don't crash again. That'd be nice. Thank you. And uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, so I think I'll probably go for maybe five trains on here, you know. Now, it's stopping off at places where there's plenty of demand. I don't think Dortmund goes to, uh, does a direct route to, to Wellington. Otherwise, I would have probably used it, right? Uh, and certainly, there was no direct route between uh, between Dortmund and, uh, and the, the place we started off, which has a name, I'm reliably informed. Um, so, you know, they're... they're this is this is all kind of unique routes. When we may cannibalise uh, some passengers who are travelling a little further, but we won't cannibalise the whole of anything. Probably. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, no, we're done. No, that's it. That's that's mission complete. So I think what we'll do actually is since we're, I don't, I, I'm going to be tempted to run a, a high speed something down here. I don't think I've got anything high enough speed to actually do it yet. 
but we'll uh, we'll certainly uh, we'll certainly give that a go. There we are. Uh, we'll we'll high speed the whole of this riverside line, which is very scenic, <clears throat> and it's a good length too. So I think once I've got you know HSTs or uh, or or other trains that are fast, uh, then. Uh, you know what? Am I going to be able to resist using the ruddy whatever it was this time around? Oh, what was I using that platform for? Interesting. Was I using it for anything? I like that I set it up, but I don't think I ever used it for anything. Right, well, let's upgrade this to uh, outdated, please use new station. I'd sooner not. I just want to upgrade this, and we're going to bulldoze this uh, this innocent bystander as a result. There we go. Uh, let's have a look. Do I? No. And uh, in other news, I've wrecked it somewhere. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just recognise that uh, that we live in a two-way society here, and that uh, and that frankly, you should be just sticking to your side of the. Oh dear. Uh, oh, that's that's torn it uh, all the way up here, all the way up to here, and. Nope. Okay, fine. If that's the way you want to play it, then check this out. Huh? Yeah. Now, this to me says, you've broken something somewhere. Yep, something's definitely broken. That's just high-speed track. You just, uh, that's confusing you. Let's, uh, we should change the color of this, I reckon. The Eastern Hemisphere mainline, which loses money. I wonder if it loses money because it's broken. Uh, let's make it yellow. There you go. Now, I know I use yellow a lot. Oh, flipping egg. Uh, but it uses yellow a lot because uh, it shows up quite a lot. Now then. Well, you can't, you can't do that. Shanghai, yeah. Wellington, yes. Wolverhampton, Wellington. What's the problem? Uh, Wellington Platform 2... Uh, which is the one that it's on, which apparently can't get to. Uh, platform 2, please. Where's Platform 1? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, right. No, no, that was my mistake in uh, in laying that out badly. It's okay. It's all it's all fine. And, uh, and also, as a result, it means that this Vancouver train is going to terminate on Platform 3. I built Platform 3 for the thrill seekers who want to feel like they might die if they... If, if the train doesn't behave itself. And therefore, we'll uh, we'll use that. Look, there's a lonesome tree waiting. Right, let's get it going. I've no idea what I'm running up here, but I'm going to have a look at uh, at the new stuff and see what we uh, see what we get out of that. It's already chosen Platform 3. You clever thing. Uh, right, it's, uh, we don't need to follow the track exactly. We know where we're going. Uh, and then Dortmund. All right, what do we make of this? Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it for now. Uh, and then from Dortmund, we're going to head out to Vancouver because some book just spent quite a lot of money on some track. There you go. Echelente. Uh, let's make sure we're not conflicting because, you know, we might as well use one of the empty platforms, right? That looks, uh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty, pretty splendid. All right, get rid of that again. And then let's just check that this is double tracking correctly. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be, but you never know. For some reason, this is making me dizzier than it usually does. It doesn't usually make me dizzy at all. So any level of dizzy, uh, and uh, and that would be more, wouldn't it? I'm just filling in narrative here while we uh, while we trundle along towards our destination. Don't know if you spotted that or not. I suspect you did. You're a sophisticated viewer. Bingo! Right. Also, not bingo. You need to stop at Dortmund again, you burk. Uh, right, here we go. All right, where well, you can do that? It's, that's not going to change anything. And we are go for launch. It, this just needs a good name now. Um, I mean, you know, we can go. Well, let's no, let's stick with what's the the naming convention type of deal that we've already got going on. Wellington. Right there, we are. Time to go shopping for trains. Uh, we'll go for the main depot, which is down the other end of the map. I knew that. Um, and here we go. 
Right. What have we got? Uh, what have we got pulling in and out at the moment? Bit of rail bus action. That'll be full. How are your finances looking? Pretty good last year. Pretty good year before. Okay. Remember, you've got to multiply that by ten. So you know that's all right. And uh, and the new uh, the new Alco is uh, is doing the doing the do there as well. Uh, right. Let's go for engine shed number one or three, as the case may be. Alright, load up my list, if you would be so kind. Now then, uh, I'm completely, I'm completely ambivalent towards both diesel and, uh, and steam. We can, go, we can go either way. What's the, uh, what's the hot stuff as far as steam is concerned? 125 kilometers an hour, too slow. Alright, it sounds like I'm going to be running whatever the fastest thing is I can get my hands on. Which is the Alco at the moment. That's, that's a dramatic whistle. Uh, now this is the uh, the Bowray High, Bowray High, Bowraha, Bowraha, Bowrihi. Uh, someone gave me a pronunciation guide and I've forgotten it. Um, okay, no, that's that's just not going to do it. There's the Zephyr. The Zephyr's quick. And we haven't used it yet. Now, I know that, I mean, it starts in, uh, see all these? Yeah, these are the trains you're not allowed to use. Um, we've got the TZ2 uh, uh, there, uh, the Alco multi-unit, with a with a reverse on the end of it. You know what, I should sling that. I think someone possibly suggested, hold on, what's this? 137. You know what, I love this. Oh, I'm having it. It's the diesel multi-unit. I'm replacing those double unit uh, uh, that we've got already. I'm sticking these on. Those are tremendously, thrillingly exciting. Uh, and I've not used them before. Ooh, I want to do that now. No, you can do it at the start of the next episode. All right, okay, done. We're going Zephyrs. Uh, now, they take 52 passengers. Ugh. That's nowhere near enough. And as I recall... The uh, making a profit out of these is hellish. All right. Well, what are you going to do instead? Go back to Steam. See if you can find something quick. By which I don't mean find it quickly. I mean, you know, see if you can find something that's, you know, pretty sharp. The Milwaukee. Interesting. 193. That's quick. Uh, yeah, it's faster than an A4. Uh, you've got the... Uh, We've already used quite a few of those. There are only 175s, though. Uh, what about this Kriegslock? 80. No. Most unfortunate. Um, uh, we've used the Australians previously, but that's not going to stop. No, too slow. Um, chink, chink, chink. No, I think, uh, I, think that's where we, I think that's where we're going. No, I know it's one of the default locos in the game, but, you know, that's, uh, that's no reason not to use it. Just check a little bit further, see if we've got a speed demon out there that is just disappointedly waiting for me to choose it. No, we'll go with the Milwaukee. Um, I don't see why not. Yeah, among the fastest steam locomotives in the world, certainly. Uh, we'll take it, 5.7 some odd million. Uh, we're going to give this a reasonably... Oh, I really want to use it with the Orient Express cars. Because I don't think I'm going to get... Hold on, top speed, 100 kilometers an hour. Well, I, I'm afraid, Orient Express cars, not happening. Not when I've got something that will do pushing 200 on there. We're going to go with these uh, aluminium lightweights. Or the Milwaukee... No, the Milwaukee's not fast enough. I don't care if it does match a livery. It's, uh, it's too ruddy slow. 193 streamliners. That's more like it. So we have a choice of the streamliners or... The lightweight. These are pricier. They go faster. But the streamliner goes the same speed as the locomotive. And therefore, everything else is just is just waste. Unless it's got higher capacity, which I didn't look at before. It doesn't. Okay, we're going with these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's be aggressive with this, people. Let's, uh, let's be bold. Do you really want five of these? I think you could probably get away with four. There's four stops, four trains. What do you think? All right, okay. I'm not opposed to buying another one. I know you're not, but that's okay. 
Right, Vancouver, Wellington. Trot on. Splendid. Okay, and uh, let's uh, let's see what we want. Out you come. And actually, while we're about it, let's grab this out here, and uh, and we'll muck about with the colour scheme in that way that we so often do. Black. I tell you, that makes the loco look sharp. Uh, does absolutely nothing for these carriages. What if we went like whitish? That too, no, less so. I think. I think it's the the, the contrast is what uh, comes up with the good. You know, I'm a sucker for grey. But brown. No, it's just there's there's not a lot you can do with brown. This red's not bad though. Uh, what about a really ugh, uh, purple? Derek and I. That's the that's the winner. Purple it is. I think I've already got a purple line out there somewhere, but now I've got another one. Well, ain't ain't she pretty? Uh, there we go. Right, uh, they, and uh, and that's our show for today. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll start out by uh, by watching one of these in position when we pick things up next time round, and uh, and I am going to put that uh, rail bus alternative. I'm not going to use the rail bus rail bus. I'm going to use that. Uh, was it Baltimore, Ohio? I think it might have been or Ohio, Ohio, Baltimore. Uh, either way, that's what we're going to run with uh, as a replacement for the for the commuter route. Um, I also had a notion about building another commuter route. You know, I know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, but we've got, still got a few trains to replace. Whether or not I get to them next time around, I doubt. Uh, but we'll do something else that's interesting. And I invite you to stick around to sit. This is, this is everything going on at once here, isn't it? But that's because everything moves so slowly, you've got adequate opportunity to see it happening. No drag racing. Not in this area. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, why aren't you subscribed? No, I come on, pull yourselves together, subscribe, uh, and uh, and while you're about it, uh, fling a like at this one if you enjoyed it, and I'll be back soon uh, with some trains. Got some possible subsidence issues there. I wonder if I can get insurance. I doubt it, and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.